Uh, kia ora. my name is Martin, Martin Evans, and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate uh, an activity that I've been involved in for the last 20 years, which is called colouring. Colouring is an active meditation, and I go about my business of encouraging people to get involved and get the relaxation that comes with it. So, um, colouring, right? You've got to have colours. So here's a, I've got an array of pencils here. Now a pencil is solid paint, right? It's not something uh, that's uh, only for children. It's solid paint. So here's my selection. I've got thick pencils. Yeah, Cura. My name is Martin, Martin Evans, and I'm here again talking about colouring. And uh, today I just want to give you a sample. There's two types of pencils that I use. Some of them are quite thick and chunky. These are really good. And others are your standard uh, thin ones. They're all very good. The other thing about them is cheap ones aren't as good as uh, the more expensive ones. The ones with uh, lots of colour in is the one you want. The cheap ones, the $2 ones that you get in the $2 shops, they don't have a lot of colour in them. These do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate for you how I go about my colouring. Right, well, the first rule of colouring is always start using a lighter colour first. You can always darken a colour, but once you put dark on, you can't lighten it. That's number one. So I'm going to just, I've got a blue here, right? I'm just going to put some blue on the background. I probably won't do the whole page for the moment. I'll just be putting a little bit of blue here like this. Now I'm actually resting on a pad. I've actually got a pad. I could do it on the tablecloth and that way I'd get texture in it. But I'm just using a, a, a pad to do it. Yeah, it's Martin here again. Look, the more colour you put on something, the more it sort of stands out, you know. Uh, when I do this with children, they tend to put one coat of colour on. You can still see the white underneath, you know. That's normal. That's what people do. But that's just the beginning. Uh, you've got to add a lot more colour to uh, get the effect that you want, which is you want the colours to actually stand out and smack you in the face. That can only happen by layers and layers and layers of colour. Now, it takes a lot of persistence, you know, to, to, to do this. I mean, I've been doing it for years, so I, I, I'm quite fast at it, you know, and I don't expect other people to, uh, to do it as quickly as I do. Um, but you can see the colours are starting to sharpen up and come out at you. Now, where's that colour I want? Where's the pink? There. And then I'll do a bit more of this blue. I use soft, they're soft pencils, very waxy. Texta, I think these are called. Yeah. Texta. There's others. I'm sure there's Office Max uh, pencils here as well, which work, work well. There's big chunky ones. These are Office Max. What's this? This is a Texta. You know, they're slightly different colours, all good. How's that? How's that looking? Yeah, so since we were uh, looking at this uh, painting, a few things have happened. Uh, one, I've put on this yellow in three places. And um, after putting on the yellow, I then took the orange. Here is the orange. And I, I just do the edges, just darken it up a bit. Um, I just sort of, it's subtle. You can blend these colours, beautiful, eh? You know, they, they, they're really good for blending. And if I take that one there, 
uh, I can then put some yellow on top. It doesn't make any difference. It all just adds to the texture of the thing. And having done that, then go back to the orange, put another layer of orange on. I'm only going to put orange on the edges, you know. And I get the yellow. And then if I really wanted to um, make it obvious, that line, there's my black. I'm just going to basically go down the line there. I'll do the same here, out of this line here. Now, I mean, it takes years, I suppose. It's taken me years, anyway, to get control over the, the pencil, get it to do what I want it to do. And sometimes I go off target, like I'm going off target there. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Same with all these lines, really. At the end of the day, I'll go over them with a pencil. Cha. And just the edge. And, you know, I'll come back and look at it tomorrow and say, oh, I thought I put more. Oh, I thought I made that stand out more and blah, 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 because it all sort of blends in at the end of the day. Hey. So I don't know how many layers of colour I've put on this particular half of a petal, but you know, it's more than half a dozen. Yeah, good one. So um, I'm back to this painting again. And this time I'm changing my colour in it. I'm putting red in it, you know. That's the other thing about this sort of routine. You can put any colour anywhere because it's just, you know, it's just your own choices. And if you photocopy the work before you start, I mean, by the way, this is out of my book, of course. This is on page 38. Uh, and it, it, I did it as a very simple design. Uh, and I did it because of the work I do in uh, mental health. It attracts people. A simple, simple design, easy to complete. So as I say, it's a fantastic aid to learning because it settles the brain down, you know. Brilliant in children. That's how I first came across this was at uh, Rudolf Steiner School in Auckland. Yeah, so there you go. I've changed the colour there and uh, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm uncomfortable with that black line there. It's too too prominent for me at the moment I'm not sure how to get rid of that but I'm going to put another one of these ready ones here but I, I, you can see the colours I use uh, uh, what you get out of a pencil packet you know they're pretty prime and um, there's definitely a lot of colour in them and they're nice and soft ideal for this uh, task you know the paper that I'm using here this paper is a hundred gram paper. The stuff that you get in business class, you know, the stuff for business paper is... No, that's not it. Where is it? Where's it gone? Oh, here it is. I folded it up. It, this is office paper. Right? This is office paper. This is a little bit too thin. It, it works, but it is, it's a little bit too thin because if I were to do that amount of work, on the office paper, it'll bubble a, a little bit, you know, it'll just just undulate a little bit. Whereas a hundred, fine, stays where it is. So what have we talked about today? I've talked about this as an activity that's, uh, it's for everybody. Every age group can do this. Um, you know, if you've got a hand that's working and you've got some eyes, uh, you can do it. So it's for, it's suitable for all ages. Um, it's 
it doesn't create a well it does i suppose when you look at the table it look, creates a lot of mess but it's not like paint you know paint can be a bit messy and it's all over the place this is just a little space and here you go this is what i've collected today this is me uh sharpening pencils now it's a funny thing because when you sharpen a pencil of course you are actually sharpening off a lot of color off the edges you know so sometimes well often actually i use i use a blade and then i get this sort of result when i use a blade i'm not losing the color you know look at the difference between those two it's actually they demonstrate also one of them is office max see that's the darker one and the other one is texter so by having both i got two two different shades and that's okay oh, there are hundreds of different pencils on the market but waxy ones is what i use <laughs> 